Hey guys, welcome again. So this is a short video upon how you can upgrade the RAM of your laptop if it has that capability of doing that, if it has that available slot or if it has two slots which are filled with 4 plus 4 GB or 8 plus 8 GB RAM and you can enhance the chipset supports the enhancement. So the laptop today which I will be upgrading is my Asus Zephyrus M. It comes with inbuilt 16 GB soldered RAM which I cannot remove and then it gives an option to upgrade the RAM with an extra slot. So this is a very important point guys. I have one more laptop. This is my 8 year old laptop and I'll make a separate video on it and I upgraded not just RAM but also the SSD instead of using the hard drive which it comes with but I will make a separate video. This is not for today's discussion. This video not just targets upon Asus Zephyrus M. There are other models also from Asus which gives you that capability to upgrade that. So almost almost the things will be same. You can just grasp what you learn from here and apply there. Now just one tip guys before I move any further I will make a separate video on laptop buying guide but if you are purchasing a laptop please try to focus upon a laptop which gives you an option to upgrade your RAM and SSD. These two are must and with time you will feel a need to do that and that is the reason I purchased this laptop because it gives me an option to upgrade not just RAM but also my storage with an empty slot of NVMe SSD. Now the way they have given the option to upgrade is very simple unscrew and simply put in the extra RAM which you are going to. That's the best thing I like about Asus these days is that they have made the things very easy for you to do that. You don't need to go anywhere. Let's start. So you have to remember that there are screws of two sizes. and what I've seen the bigger one is having that blue marking in it. So you have to be careful about that. And I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 screws. Now I'm starting from the edge of this so you need to have either long nails or some kind of card don't use a screw because it might scratch the surface this is the first time even I am looking I have not removed this earlier so I will clean some of the dust here so you can see all the components here guys two fans the NVMe again a slot for NVMe and the big battery <laughs> it's quite a big battery and then all the copper pipes these are black painted and these are the fans with two openings one two two and finally the bag is indeed made up of plastic it has a silver finish but it's a plastic bag I'm going to use this HyperX RAM which will make the RAM 32 GB for this laptop so it's a bit more expensive than the brands like Crucial or Edata but I think the performance wise they are quite good in terms of rating. So it goes in probably this direction and then there are two clips there to keep it in place. Simply slide it and then push it. Nope, you have to just put a little bit more pressure than I was comfortable with. Now if you want to install your NVMe, that is where the NVMe slot is. You can install that NVMe here. That's pretty much it. Now I have to unscrew and test it. Yeah, 31.9 GB. So yeah, it works. Pretty much. That's it. So guys, that was all I had for you today. I would reiterate, if you have a laptop which gives you an option, it's great. You can upgrade it at any point of time and it will help you in the long run. You might not need it today, but you might need it tomorrow. And by the way, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And if I could help, I would love to help you. See you again, guys. See you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.